What's up guys, Darkstar here, and we are starting something new on the DIY channel here. Uh, we will be doing Halo 4 Forge Map Showcases, so uh, send us your Slayer Maps, send us, us your mini games, send us your Forge Art, and uh, if we like it, we will showcase it on our channel, and uh, you'll get a little press time on the old YouTube, and uh, we'll say nice things about you. Uh, but I'm starting us off with a map I am currently working on. Uh, it's pretty much done. The, you know, the main construction is done. Uh, we're fine-tuning the gameplay right now. Uh, we did a, a Slayer playtest on it the other night, and I'm going to be showing you some footage of that. Uh, but this is basically it. Uh, it's called Ganymede Station 019. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the hell Ganymede is, here's an astronomy lesson for you. Ganymede is the largest moon in our solar system. It is a moon of the planet Jupiter. Uh, it is uh, comprised uh, primarily of rock and water ice. Uh, if they thawed it out, uh, it could probably support life, um, but it's frozen solid and uh, ain't nothing living up there right now, most likely. But uh, in this scenario, the uh, UNSC has uh, started subterranean mining operations on the moon Ganymede, and this is Station 019. Um, it is a unsymmetrical map, which means that it uh, does not mirror itself. You guys know what that means. I'm going to have to explain that. Um, but it has uh, lots of cool uh, parts to it. This interior building here. Um, below it is kind of a big storage area. Lots of crates and cover stuff down there. Uh, there's a network of pipes that reach all around the facility. Uh, making very interesting ways to get around the map. Um, so, yeah, the pipe system, there's not much cover up there, so you're kind of vulnerable when you're up there, so people tend to get up there and just sprint across to get to where they want to get to. Uh, I found, we did find some people kind of posting up on some of the intersections where uh, the, the different pipe areas meet, and using that as kind of a camping spot. Um, but they didn't last long. There, like I said, there wasn't much cover, and there, you know, it's not really a power position. Uh, but let's get to some gameplay it's set up for Slayer, Oddball, Capture the Flag, and King of the Hill right now. I may add Dominion uh, later. We'll see. Um, now one of the main complaints people had was the turrets. Uh, there are two turrets on the map. Um, and the turrets tended to dominate a little bit. Uh, you know, and it was usually people breaking them off and, and uh, jumping around with them. Um, but yeah, turrets are a lot more powerful on Halo 4 than they were on previous Halo games, so I need to uh, get with the program and kind of tone that down a bit. I'm, I might, I, the way it is right now, it's got a turret on either end of the map. Um, I might tone it down and just have one central turret uh, that people can, can try to get to. I do like having turrets. Uh, they're fun. There's Captain Slayer just clowning around, jumping the ghost off the map. I think he might have been trying to splatter me, but uh, he missed by a long shot because I was already dead. Yeah, the other main complaint people had was uh, access to the upper building. There's three ways in, two on one side, one on the other. But uh, once one team kind of took control of that building, it was really difficult to route them out. So I added a lift uh, coming up from the bottom, uh, from the storage area beneath, uh, to add a, a, another way in. Because basically, if you didn't have the building and people were posted up on all the doorways, you had to run through a lot of open ground to uh, get to the building. And... Um, so it was a little bit too powerful of a power position. So we toned that down. Um, and yeah. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it'll be in my file share soon once I fi finish fine tuning it. So check it out. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Darkstar out. Peace.